What's up guys? I'm doing a front view, hopefully it's not too much of a crotch shot, of this Pigeon Tree crafting leather belt. And um, I originally saw these belts and I was like, what the heck is this belt buckle all about? Like it has this pointy thing on it, Is it what's it for? Well, it's actually kind of cool because you can... I'll show it in a second, but basically you can quick release the belt by pushing down on this, and then this pops out. You can kind of get the idea, like, this pops out, and then the whole belt just comes loose. So it's really easy to get out of your belt at the end of the day when you don't, or if you don't want to mess around with getting it out, you just, bam, just push it down, and then the belt comes out. Um, so when I first saw it, I thought it was pretty, pretty cool, pretty good idea, or a great idea, actually. And then um, come to find out these belt buckles, not this specific one because it has two prongs and I'll get to that in a second. But these belt buckles are, um, I guess, were used in Japan for firefighting and they used them for hoses to get, to get hoses or something. And then this was the quick release to get to the hoses quickly. I think that was the background of them. So, but th this guy was, as far as I know, the at pigeon, pigeon Tree Crafting. He was the first one to kind of popularize it in America. So, I was drawn to his belt. Um, but when you go to his site, he's it, since there's you know this is a great idea, so it's so popular that basically had no availability or or it was like months out. So I started was like, well, is there anybody else doing this, or is there any way I can just buy the belt buckle because I have other belts that are nice or they're, they're nicer belts that you can swap out belt buckles um so i was like if i can just get the belt buckle i could put it on my belt and um i did find a place in colorado that sold the belt the belt buckle and um but the thing is they sell they sold the one prong and uh, Pigeon Tree Crafting actually has a patent on the two prong. So, one prong belt buckles are, you know, they can be sold without a, without an issue. So, as you can see, there's silver rivets here, and then this is a brass belt buckle because, like I said, I just wanted to try it out. So, um, anyway, by the time you buy, if you have a nice belt that has, is able to have that, you know, you're probably looking at like a hundred bucks or something like that and then the belt buckle itself is another 40 so by the time you try to make your own that's about the price of what you can buy this one for so i recommend that now the re only reason i have this belt is because sometimes if you look at his instagram he will um have stuff that's for sale immediately or, you know if the customer didn't want to buy it and so he had this one available and it was a little small as you can see I'm on the second second hole out of like what five um, so ideally I would like to get one that was a little bigger but I jumped on this just because like I said I wanted to try it out um, but yeah let me go ahead and see there's the quick release and he actually rivets his in here um, so it's permanent you can't take this buckle off it's permanent, which is which is good. And then he's got his uh, symbol stamped in there, and then a brass keeper. Um, my belt, like I said, you can remove this um, with screw. They're just Chicago screws. Um, but this this belt buckle actually has. If I can get it to cooperate. This belt buckle that I bought um, actually has a little spring to it, so. When you push it down, it actually comes up, comes back up. Um, this one does not, it's not a spring. So if you push it down, it just stays down. So, um, yeah, that's, that's one difference. And then when you get it back on, um, or to get it back on, you can just make it into a belt again and then, uh, put your belt or put your, uh, you know, your loop through like normal, like a normal belt. So... Um, oh, another thing, this leather that he uses is awesome. This is like a, um, a bridal leather, uh, a veg tan leather. He does have some, some Chrome XL leather, uh, but this leather is very, very good. Um, 
it's kind of similar to this. And this belt is a Hanks belt, by the way. It's kind of similar to this. This is um, bridal leather also. Which I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a bridal leather. It says on there. So this is a great leather also. But um, yeah, so I definitely recommend going with him. But if you can't get on his list or you're you're you want to try it out quickly you know you can find these buckles in one prong that you can try out with your own belt um but i'm definitely recommend the original over trying to make your own like i said by the time you get it all together it's going to be you would have had enough money for this for this one and this one is done better than than the one i made up myself so that's all I have. I will see you guys on the next one.